If Washington Township High School junior Aaron Higby's dream of becoming a teacher doesn't pan out, he may find himself a promising career with the United States Postal Service, as he has proven that neither snow nor rain nor heat nor a global pandemic can keep him from his post at Orchard Valley Middle School. WTTV recently caught up with Higby at Orchard Valley, where he has volunteered for bus duty daily for the past three years. Aaron was originally a student at Orchard Valley for three years, and then he transferred to the high school as the natural progression of eighth graders to ninth graders go. But Aaron has younger siblings that attend Orchard Valley. So he would come in the afternoon to pick up his younger siblings. And from there, it became a kind of a situation where Aaron was here every day and we could ask him to hold a bus if we had a younger one coming out running to a bus because he was maybe standing within the area and it evolved into kind of like a little part-time position that he works with us every afternoon. It all started with my little brother um, like coming here, um, my little brother Brandon and he uh, you know I always you know I wanted to be the big brother and like you know walk him over like back to the house and stuff, you know, make sure he got it there okay and whatnot. Um, and I just, I wanted to start doing it because I saw like that there weren't many staff members outside. And uh, I thought, like I, I asked Miss Brown, I'm like, do you guys need any help like about like, like uh, with helping with the buses or the cars or anything like that? And she was like, you want to come out and help, that's fine. You want to stay after, come on. You know, they, they love my help and uh, I mean, and I and I accepted it. I mean, you know, and then obviously like during the pandemic and what, what we were all going through, I, uh, I, I mean, I still came over here, obviously wearing these and stuff. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I just, I just, I just like to do it. I just like to help people. I get off the bus around like probably like like two thirty ish. So maybe like a good ten minutes, ten fifteen minutes, and then I just come over here. So it it all works out perfectly. So Aaron is here. Rain, shine, snow, half day, full day, hybrid, remote. Aaron is here all the time with us. He lives very close to our building. So he walks over from his home and he's here daily. He's dedicated. If he's not going to be in, he will let us know in advance also that he has certain days that he won't be over and to help us. Wow. But pretty much he's here every single day. I think it was in October we had uh, like a thunderstorm. And I think it was a pretty, getting to be a, a big one, like a severe one. And uh, so like it was already thundering and lightning. I walked over with my umbrella. I had an umbrella. And uh, I also have like a, a like a rain jacket, um, so I had like I was fully prepared, and and then it started raining, and just get my umbrella up, and I still do it. it and any weather, even when it snows, I'm interested in the child development classes because I wanted. Well, first of all, I I, I always wanted to be like a meteorologist when I was like a younger kid and stuff, and. I just, like, as soon as I hit, like, sophomore year, I just grew out of that, and now I want to be a history teacher. Like, I want to work in a school. I just, like, I always knew that I wanted to work in a school, but I just never had, like, the courage. Mr. D. Gregorius, he's the one upstairs here. He goes here. Um, yeah, he, he inspired me a lot because, I mean, obviously, he, he's a guy, you know, and he just always had like the f like more fun, uh, you know, of being a teacher and especially a history teacher. And um, I don't know. I just like I just looked up to him more, and he just made the class interesting. And that's what I like. You know, I just I like interesting things, and I like to make things fun. You know, like I don't know. I just Mr. D the best. With Aaron, he's always been. A genuine student and very conscientious. When he was here within sixth to eighth grade, he did form relationships with a lot of the staff members. And besides working with us with our busing and our cars, he does bulletin boards. He helps them at the end of the year take down classrooms. So he's formed a lot of bonds and relationships with a lot of the teachers within the building. 
and one of the teachers he was close to was Mr. DiGregorio, and he is a social studies teacher, and he also works in some of our ELA classrooms. So Aaron was able to pretty much take Mr. DiGregorio's personality and see himself in that role. So he would be an excellent teacher because he has the patience, he has the kindness, and he's very creative thinking when there's problems or issues that arise. It's very unusual to have the commitment to a school setting. I know children this age have their commitment to their parents where they have responsibilities, but to come back for a school setting and work as a volunteer within the school is really a commitment that Aaron has given to us. And this is his third year working with us. It's not something that we require him to do. He just enjoys working with the staff and he enjoys working with the students and he has younger siblings here. So his commitment is merely coming from his heart and that he has shown us over the last three years. Well, the teachers, I know that, I know that they love me or which I think they do, but you know, um, but like I know half of everybody here, every, like half of everybody here. And um, I all have a, like a good relationship with them. Like I, I always talk with them like personally and and you know, ask them how they're doing and, and stuff, uh, like to catch up with them. And then uh, with the principals, like administrators, um, I know that Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Mrs. Cancilla, I know that they appreciate what, what I do. Um, like, I know that, like, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's, I just like doing it. I'm glad of what I do, and I'm glad that I uh, can help people out. And I appreciate that uh, Mrs. Brown and uh, Mrs. Cancilla allow me to do this. I really am. I appreciate it very much.